We are living in the Anthropocene. But what does that mean? It means we are in an age of unspeakable violence against our planet. 66 million years ago, an asteroid collided with Earth. It caused the extinction of the dinosaurs and started a new era, the Paleocene. Today, humans have started another era, the Anthropocene. This time, we are the asteroid. Our disregard for nature has unleashed an environmental multicrisis, a nightmare combination of linked emergencies from climate change to mass extinction. My book, Educating for the Anthropocene, asks how education might help us prepare for life in this era. Answering this question led me to Pashulok in India and Wentworth in South Africa. Going to these places felt like stepping into a time machine, a glimpse of what the future might soon look like for the entire world. The huge dams and smokestacks around me made it clear that the face of the earth is now the face of man. But the young people in India and South Africa also showed me just how powerful environmental activism can be. Listening to young people and activists in Pashlok and Wentworth helped me see that to tackle environmental destruction, we must rethink education. They taught me that progress starts with grasping what's at stake. This helps us care deeply about the future. Once we care, we can imagine something better. Holding this vision, we can communicate it to others. And when we come together in action, a better future can become a reality. Education has the power to transform the Anthropocene. But instead of obsessing over growing the economy, it must help young people grasp and confront the crises in our culture and politics that are behind the destruction of our planet. We must recognize activists as educators and teachers as activists. This shift is critical. The time to imagine a better future is now. Find out more by reading Educating for the Anthropocene.